Prayer, to me, is reaching the heart of God. When we pray to our Heavenly Father, He meets us where we are at. And He speaks through us, through the Holy Spirit. And He leads us in prayer. So as we come to Him in prayer, and we have requests, whether it be family requests, community requests, requests on behalf of the nations, He then transforms them to His desires, His wills, his mandate for the nations, his mandate for your family, his mandate for your very own life. And many times you'll come out of the time of prayer where your prayer becomes the prayer of his, his heartbeat. And that to me is where the power really is held. Because it no longer becomes our agenda, it no longer becomes that friend's desire for us to pray for them, that community, that tribe. It becomes then God's reason as to why he wants us to pray. pray, Because our prayer becomes his prayer. Our request becomes the exact same request that he wants. You see, many times we come to the Father in prayer and we have these agendas. And these agendas may not be exactly in tune with the will of the Father. And so we find ourselves then, when we're really at the heart of God, praying the prayers he wants us to pray. So what's prayer about? Prayer is about praying the will of the Father. Father, let your will be done and let nothing get in the way of it. That is a continual prayer I pray. I, I nest that in, in every prayer I pray and I pray it continuously because it's about the will of the Father. It's not about us. Many times we come into prayer and we don't understand that our prayers may not even be what the Father is calling us to pray. So what's the objective then? When you really get into the depths of prayer, into the chamber in which He's calling us to be, He, he is wanting our prayers to be in sync with His desires. It's not about us. It's not about us. It's all about Him. And how can we get our prayers to match His will? We have to have a surrendered heart, a heart of humility, a heart of obedience. A heart of wanting to have the Father's will over our very own will. And so many times when you're in the depths of prayer, you have the struggle, you have the struggling thing going on. And then the Father has to go then in turn, sift through those thoughts so that His desires become my prayer request. And that's where the power stands. That's where you will see God do amazing things. And like I many times say, jaw-dropping things. Because you're at the tune of His rhythm. You're at His desires, His will. You're at tune with that. You're at match with that. And that's where that synergy happens, where you clearly hear, hear His will and your will is in sync with His will. And then you have that interaction going on where that is power. There is power in that kind of prayer. I, I can assure you there is power in that kind of prayer.